What's up everybody? So today we're going to be reviewing the MJ Holding Mystery Power Box. Um, huh. I'm doing this for the kids, I'm doing this for the parents, um, and I'm doing this for myself. But uh, yeah, this is MJ Holding. Uh, it's a company, I believe out of Illinois, it probably says on the bottom of the box. Uh, what they do basically is they get the packs, they open them up, they reseal them. Uh, obviously they take the good cards out and then they charge you a premium. So I'm based in Canada. These were found at Walmart for 49, what was it? 40, 43.99 or something like that. Um, and uh, I didn't buy them at that price because I thought that was kind of ludicrous. I was like, you're better off kind of finding packs at you know a better price obviously <laughs> uh, out here i think you could expect to spend let's say six seven eight bucks a pack and i usually buy packs at like four five six bucks a pack um but yeah basically to kind of educate you on this uh some are easier let's just see what's inside we got a lost origin we got evolving skies we got a Fusion Strike, we got a Silver Tempest, and we have an Astral Radiance, and here's a little coin, all scratched up, so I can't even give that to you. But yeah, these were $43.92, and then they went on sale for $39.92, and then they went on sale again for $29.94, and that's when I decided to buy the bullet. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but you can tell right here, this is angled quite a bit. Uh, it's it's going to be so hard to show you, but basically I can see little holes on the edges here. And then the bottom is actually longer. So what they essentially did is they opened it, took the good cards out, recrimped it, and... Uh, and yeah, just pulled some shady crap. So let's find out what we get. Who knows if we can even use the code cards. Um, but yeah, I've seen some pretty bad packs. We'll go through this. And then you tell me your experience. Anyways, Psyduck, Drifloon, Pseudo Wudo, Magnemite, Ralts. We have a Zizu Reverse, and we have a Reggie Rock Rare, <laughs> uh, Dark Energy, Gape Jaw Bog. Togetic and Ursa Ring. So you can even tell that the condition of the cards are a little bit off as well, uh, which is too bad. Let's open this one. Silver Tempest. Yeah, some of these packs are opening really funny. So that's really too bad they're doing this. They're charging a premium for it. Um, yes, they're Pokemon cards, but still, you know, you have parents buying this, you have kids buying this, people saving up their money to buy it, collectors buying this. Uh, Chimecho, Finnegan, Spinarak, Beldum, Grogunk. We have a Ferrothorn Reverse and a, a rare Delphox. <laughs> Fighting Energy, Clay Doll, Worker, and Sunflora. Man, if they don't give you any, like, I know the hollows aren't worth a lot, the reverses are worth more. Yeah, see how, like, weird they're opening? Normal packs don't open like that, so unfortunately I can't go back to my Walmart and I'm not going to stand there and debate with them and try to get all my money back. I'm going to do a series of these videos just to show you and educate you and hopefully, you know, we can shut this place down. If you go to the Better Business Bureau, uh, they really don't have anything going for them. They have a D- minus ranking. Uh, Totodile Reverse and a Swampert hollow um so they're not really doing well they all have one star ratings i think just a lot of people are upset uh with them and you know i fully understand why um but yeah you can see like how much black there is down here and how there's like none here now yes pokemon um the pokemon company sometimes has faults and sometimes there's some issues and stuff like that i'll, I'll give it to them for not being perfect but they don't do it this bad like look at these cards right here why would it be like that right especially the middle ones uh scraggy bagon woobat 
Temple, Psyduck. We have Applin Reverse. We have a Galarian Zapdos Hollow. Metal Energy, Strike, Snow Leaf Batch, Treasure Energy. I should have waited longer. See, I completely forgot again. See, look at how weird. So hard to tell, but the curve on this is so off. There's like, the edges are opening up. Yeah, it's just bad, guys. Uh, I should have waited till they went even cheaper on sale. I know I'm not going to get my money back on these at all. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to go through them, find out what I get. White code card should be good, right? Should be good. Uh, okay, Pseudo Wudo, Electric, Love Disc, Gligar, Wormpole. Rosilia Holo or Reverse and a Malamar non hollow. Okay, Leaf, Damage Pump, Saviper, and a Stunkfish. And that's it, guys. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more of these videos. I'm going to scatter them throughout my channel, but just be aware, you know what? They're they're not a good company at all. They're ripping people off. They're overcharging. Uh, they're selling through major retailers like Target in the States, obviously Walmart, Walmart Canada, uh, Meyer in the States, mostly in the States. Um, but yeah, what can you do about it, right? They're just going to keep doing it as long as we keep buying it. And yes, I did buy them and so on, but uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Anyways, uh, let me know if you had any similar experiences with MJ Holding and uh, yeah, send me a message. Take care, guys. Bye.